Hello, I've got this uh, bladeless fan, this air multiplier, and today I'm going to show you how it works. So, if I just open that up, there's actually a little fan inside there. Yep, that has three speeds, and uh, that fan then um, sort of sucks air from down below and blows it upwards into this circular part of the fan. Let's push this back together. So while it's called a bladeless fan, then there is a fan, but it's located inside the, uh, inside the workings of this fan. And so when the air um, blows up there through the fan and around this circular piece, there's a little gap, a little gap just around the edge there that the air blows out of and it blows this way in the fan. And then what actually happens is, as that air blows out, then more sort of air that's located sort of around that kind of section is drawn into the air and blown out with it. And then because there's that sort of drawing action, then the air behind the fan is sort of sucked in or drawn into the fan, and so more air is uh, drawn out through this uh, sort of circular design. So that's why it's called an air multiplier, because a certain amount of air is being pushed out um, through this gap, and then more air is actually um, drawn into that, uh, into that sort of circular motion of the, of the air. Into that air, it's drawn into the middle, and more air is uh, sucked into, into the fan and blown out with the air. So you get sort of like an, a multiplying effect with more air being pushed out of the fan. Now, a quick demonstration of this fan in action. I've sticky taped a piece of uh, paper to the front of the fan, and then I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, low speed, medium speed, and high speed. And you can see that, that little piece of paper being blown out by the breeze from the fan. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.